Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Atli. Let's do review about Glacia Regalia for UR Post 100. So basically, this is a UR Hero with Cost 100. It's uh, actually the winning side of the Japan at that time, the selection number one. To be honest, I've been waiting for this unit. Um, I was thinking it will it will not come out in global because Tom Raider will be coming soon. But Kumi uh, give us chance to get her in global. So let's start reviewing her. She's a, a UR fire with silverman princess so this is the what we get in the news so basically her job is using maze so her ulti is actually I to restore AP so when you hit and get the AP back and uh, her skill to large and do some extra damage as well and reduce the AP and then uh, she got another skill big AOE with a large attack this is good hero actually but cost 100 is very expensive so later on I will talk about uh, how I will use Kelsia in the group. So let's jump here. So basically uh, before this, let's watch her first. So I saw Kelsia. Please watch over me always. Please watch over me always. <laughs> I shall keep up the hard work. Okay, everyone, let's move out! Congratulations! Lady Glacella! Congratulations! Thank you, too! I still have a little help! Yeah! Look at him. Huh? Hey, yeah! <laughs> War of the Visions! Final Fantasy! Brave Exvius! So, her ulti is kind of fancy, actually. <clears throat> so, let's begin. First, we have to know that she is fire, uh, not no limited unit, so you can get her anytime. And the problem is cost 100, so it will be so expensive to build her and cost time. The price probably in the same as normal unit, but to get her is really pain in the ass. And then. Uh, Yeah, so she basically, uh, if she costs 100, that means she's pretty good. So her main job is actually uh, the winning paradise, something with the maze attack. And then she got white mage to heal and have some revive, I saw earlier. And she got scholar using maze. And this is her DMR. So her DMR is basically give her a life and then English magic for allies and also the magic penetration as well. This is nice actually. And if we have a look again, 
Her vulnerability is uh, increasing life 10%. Her attack 15. And for herself increase arrow of effect resistance 10%. And then decrease time spell 200. So she is basically very powerful unit. As I put the stats, so we jump on the bottom. So as we know that she is fire, so we can use water for sure. We also can ice. And then the other thing that she got a lot of uh, magic resistance, some slash, and some spear. I don't know, some bow, she weaks against spear and weaks against a strike attack. So basically her resistance is nice. Although she weaks against strike and uh, spear, but can be still okay. I think still fine. And then she's uh, strong against confused and uh, Forget full, I think that one, and a bit I can sleep. Then her life is three thousand already, so she got quite a lot of life. And her magic is okay, five hundred forty. So overall is good. Let's jump to the skill. So her skill, the first one is uh, support. On her support, it will be upgrade. To get the defamentation and more uh, magical attack is the same, and then faster cast spell. So if you look at the, her support, you can combine with actually not with mage but with a uh, scholar. Either way, you can get accuracy or you can cast more faster. If for me, I will go for scholar, and I will cast. Faster, so the turn will be fast cast, and her counter uh, go for magical evasion. So basically, she's strong against magic, but against physical, maybe yes, maybe not, depending on her TMR I think. And the other thing that. Have look once again. Yes, against magic strong. And the other thing that her skill, the first skill is casting chip AP. Not so far away, but can inflict berserk. This is nice actually. And then she can buff herself more than mid. And then this is the skill with our eight. And getting the spirit penetration fifty percent. This is this is actually nice, very nice. And then this is the upgraded skill. So basically, when you hit the enemy, and then plus modifier sixty percent if the target at last have following sleep berserk auto restore on haste. So it will hit. Harder and hit far away. Yep. And then uh, also that we can see that her ulti can make an enemy slower away. So hit all oh, and then they just delay in this time. This is good hero actually. Very nice hero, and her main job can also decrease magic resistance. Wow, this is good. For the uh, wet mitts, wet mitts is basically just healing, yeah, wet mitts, but no holy attack. Wait, let me have a look. This spell. No, no holy attack. And then for scholar, the scholar one also good for PVP. I think is also good because this is kinda hurt so much the strike one. 
but it's depending on how do you want to play because the scholar skill AOE big one and also heal herself with strike attack and then this is actually let's have a look uh, I wish it's computer that's more easy to have a look no modify attack okay fine and then her limit plus is basically uh, so when you do the attacking and we regen her IP so this is good hero very good hero the only problem for her she doesn't have any short hit attack so when you fight with effect unit when you miss then that's all miss miss that's, that's the only problem for her but overall it's good now let's go to the builder so let's start with her equipment so the weapon i will be choosing is actually healing mace why healing mace because i like this one the healing mace for magic if we max you will get a heal and some accuracy as well not so much but it help better than better than nothing and then her R E M R. I think I will go for defending herself from Celeste so I will go for this one which I beat so I'll just go for defense because it doesn't have any defense so it's just assistant and then the armor you can change anything you want but I will use this one first and then uh, let's try uh, maybe in the TMR I will use something to protect her from Celeste I will put the black cross necklace so when you max this one you can see 35% 30, reduce damage taken and more agility move faster alright then let's go for Esper for fire team I think pretty much no magic damage so I think I will go not fire I will go for yeah what behind it. and then because she hit hard so I will go for more damage for sure and then magic attack maybe some efficient no we go for accuracy and then the season for strike not 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 okay something like this because she weeks against strike attack and now for the cut she is fire so fire are probably maybe mm. maybe this one yep just use this one at the moment nah use something common better I will just use the common one so maybe this
because the mid uh, cut is actually not much. Yeah, I'll just use this one first. Okay. And then her support skill. So I will use her and chop this one. The one updated. And maybe I will use some cast faster. And counter. Just put anything. So okay. And the other buff I will put zero. So basically, Garcia life is about 5000 and then her magic is good enough already, almost 1300 1, And if we look at the start here, she is basically yeah, magic, uh, 5 slash 15 and all her uh, defensive against almost bloom almost uh, positive only weeks against spear 10% and then split penetration is 40% is good and her attack magic attribution is 550 so she can cast really fast so only her problem is when you fight against a uh, effort team probably maybe she will having trouble if you don't put any accuracy but it can be trouble or not depending on the enemy effort as well so what do i think i will use uh Klesia. so basically Klesia is a magic user dps magic can cast fast can heal as well so when you do on pve you can use her as healer and do some make some uh, fire chains and together with the uh, the others as less attacker or maybe you can change to use mix fire uh, chains as well but for pvp i have this uh, a bit simulation so basically she will need tank so the tank you have two option first is rain and second one is uh, King Mon, depending what you have. If you have King Mon, better use King Mon. If you have Rain and King, and King Mon, keep King Mon as well. But you can use Rain as a tank if you want with the magic limit. And also you can combine uh, Glacia, King Mon and Rain. So put Rain as DPS with Glacia and King Mon will be tank. And maybe in the future you can use Rado, although he doesn't have any EX yet, but he probably can be used in the future. And the other option for her for her to have a uh, friend DPS, you can bring Keton, Keton Summer, so all magic. Or maybe you can bring uh, like My Seri Christmas or Warta. Uh, they have a st strength and weakness. For example, my Sari hit hard, he, she got 3 different attack, but she's relative slow. Compared to Ruarta, she also hit hard, but also short range. But my Sari is better because she has a lot of life, and she also has perfect uh, re reflex because she got a ranger skill. They are ranger. And then you can bring all team like Delita, not yet EX but very low life, he can town as well. Or maybe you can bring Aurelie, he, he can town but uh, no advanced job, just playing some bang and samurai. Still okay, but not the perfect job. So for me, I probably use Glacia together with King Mount and rain or maybe i will use gracia king mon and keton or maybe i will use gracia rain and some uh christmas winter or i will use red door or Ordelia as well 
So if you're asking me, uh, I'm free to play. What should I bring? Cassius Clay, yeah, King One and Rain. It will be powerful and hard to kill. Just try that one. You'll be fine. So this is what my thought. And good luck for everyone. I hope it's help. And I hope it will make you easier to understand how to use her. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.